everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 13 public beta one is now available to all public beta testers. And it's the exact same thing as iOS 13 developer beta two. So they're the same thing, but if you want to install public beta one, this is how you do it. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to Safari and then go to beta.apple.com. And here I have an iPhone eight plus and an iPad air two, and I'm going to show you how to install. It's the same for both iPad OS or iOS. And once you're at beta.apple.com, you need to either sign in with the Apple ID you signed up with or scroll down and tap sign up. If you tap sign up, you'll have to log in with your Apple ID and then sign a couple agreements and you'll be accepted into the program. So let me go ahead and sign in. Now I'm signed in on both devices on the iPad and the iPhone. And all you need to do is scroll over on the top to enroll your device. So if we do that over here to enroll your device, you'll see it says you need to back up and archive and backup. Just scroll down until you get to download profile. So we'll do the same here, download profile, hit allow. It says profile downloaded. And then what you need to do is go home. So if you go home, go back to settings, then go to general, scroll down to the bottom, go to profile, tap on the profile and then tap install. Now put in your passcode. You'll need to hit install again and then again, and then it's going to ask you to restart. So go ahead and restart. Now the iPad is very similar. We'll install the profile again, put in the passcode, install and restart. Now, once the device is restarted, go to settings, then go to general, then go to software update and you'll see the update is available. Now you'll need over 50% of your battery life left or have it plugged in. And you'll also need Wi-Fi in order to download this. So you can either use a wireless hotspot or you'll need Wi-Fi for this. The same is true on the iPad as well. So just check for your settings, install, and then you'll have iOS 13. Now, if you are on the beta, like this 10 S max is what you want to do. If you're having problems is go to the feedback app and report your feedback. And that's what the betas are all about making this better before the public release and allowing you to create your apps for it if you need to develop for it. So enjoy the features, enjoy all the different things with it. But if you do have bugs, use the feedback app and that's really all there is to it. So hopefully that helped you install this. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, right when they come out, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.